Hey guys, in, in today's video, I'll take you through installation of CA Layer 7 API Gateway 10.0. You can download the OVA file from Layer 7 support download center. I'm going to click here for opening up this OVA file that I downloaded previously. I open it up here. I need to provide name of my gateway. I'm naming that fpgateway 11.vonir.ca You can mention path where you want to save it. I'm saving it in F drive. Now I click this import button. It would take a few minutes to import this OVA file. Right, the installation is completed. I can go to edit this VM settings. I need to remove this CD option as I don't need here anymore. Instead of bridge for network connection, we need to change from bridge to nav1. I selected nav. Then I need to go to this edit, then virtual network editor. I need to make sure for this net type. I need to go through this change settings. Make sure this checkbox is enabled. Use local or DHCP service to distribute IP addresses. And if I uh, for this net, if I click this net settings, I can see my gateway address here. It's 192.168.183.2. I'm powering up this VM. It will load all the configuration files. As it's first time installation, it, it may take some time to configure, but it's a bit pretty fast. Right, it's configured. I need to log in it again. At first login, we need to change password. We need to set a stronger password. Right now, the gateway is here. Now we need to go through with configuration items. First, we need to go to this restricted shell, that's option 3. I need to provide password here. Also, we need to change password here. We need to select our most secure password. Right, so if I write here, if config, it will show me the IP address as you can see 192.168.183.2. 168 I exit from root shell and I go to this first one for configure network settings then I go to first option configure network and system time settings I need to select for option one enable interface on boot yep keep it at default would you like to configure IPv4 settings yep it's enable protocol it would be static ipv4 address is 192.168.183.168 which we just confirmed from root my bad it's 183 uh, i need to repeat it again This is default, this is static, this is 192.168.183.168 Then subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 Then my gateway address is 192.168.183.0 Would you like to configure IPv6? No 
would you like to contribute another network interface? No. This one is would you like to change current current? Yep. Option no, then it is one. Host name is fpk to a eleven dot junior dot c comma security name leave it as it is leave all the time settings as it, as it is do you wish to apply the changes yep all right so network and time settings configuration applies successfully now i go to previous menu for all right so we can go to this display second option then we can create a database before this we need to go to root to add entry in post file Uh, some character is missing from my password. I need to re enter it. Alright, it's here. I need to add entry in etc host file. First, I uh, need to let you guys know about this portal. As you could see, VI post file is here. I need to add it in here. So I can uh, write the data here in this file etc slash hosts and I need to add a new line. I copied the one for this gateway. I just need to change this one to 168. Then all the address would be same. I need to copy this one here and I can paste this one. This will let gateway know about this host name. We need to write and quit. Now we can ping to this gateway as we could see. Uh, we need to make it a gateway. There was a type point here. I can go to this line and edit this to FE Gateway 11. Also, this is FE Gateway. I just noticed this thing. Right now, if I ping FE Gateway 11 dot Lunar, you would see it's pinging. I can exit from here. Now we need to set up a database. For this, we can go to this display gateway configuration menu. Then we can choose the second option, create layer 7 API DB. Default connection is yes. Localhost, keep it port as it is. Database name as SSG. Password, you can select your own choice. Admin password you need to provide failover. Right now I'm not setting up a failover DB here. So policy manager user is admin. You need to provide password. Deconfirm it. Cluster host. Keep it as it is. Phrase 
So on there, compound plus surface. It's here, enable DS, yes. continue. It would take few seconds to let the configurations applied over the node. Let's wait for it to appear a success message, then we can move to next step. Alright, configuration is successful. I'm restarting this. Now we need to re reboot this gateway to let the changes applied. As gateway is rebooted, we need to provide a username. Then we need to provide password here. We can go to second option for menu and then we can select seven show our gateway status. It would take some time to fetch current status of gateway. As you could see, it's starting up. I can go to root to confirm you guys regarding the IP address. As you could see, the IP address that we set for 192.168.183.168, it's there, it's configured. Now we can go to, uh, now the, this gateway is configured, database is installed. We can use the credentials that we defined in next video to log into policy manager. Thanks for watching this video.